Uh, the first image that comes to mind when I hear about Sheikh Zayed is giving. Generous. Unity. I mean, his whole mission was to unite the seven emirates, and in that time, it was something that didn't seem like it was possible. And yet, he was able to overcome tribal differences and differences between the emirates and unite us. Whenever someone says Sheikh Zayed, I always think of him as like a leader who wants to give not only to his people, but like to all not just even the Arab world, to everyone around the world. His generosity was beyond like, you know, what any other leader would do to their people. And he didn't believe in investing in oil, but in people. He would also appreciate like the power of education. Like Sheikh Zayed paid my grandparents for my, my, my mom and aunts and uncles to go to school. I think he also empowered women. And that's why um, I think today women are like, women shape a big role in the UAE. Khatra, which is what we wear on our heads sometimes, you see the white cloth. He would put it kind of a little bit covering his face so people wouldn't know who he was and he would go out into the city. And one day he went out and sat next to an Indian fisherman and asked him how he was and how his, how his fishing was going. And he said that he started complaining and saying that uh, he used to have his favorite fishing spot and that was taken away by a resort which closed off the beach that he would usually go from. And so he said that he was finding it tough now to find a new spot where he could find as many fish. And so um, Sheikh Zayed, after hearing this, apparently went and declared that all beach is public property. So um, my grandfather was the attaché in, um, in the U.S. during the 80s. So he was, you know, like, um, so he was helping out with the embassy and all of that. And during the 80s, the ambassador of the UAE in the U.S. was murdered. And what happened is that my grandfather's apartment was bombed. And the first thing he thought of was going back to his country because he didn't have any other alternative. But Sheikh Zayed said, just keep him there, open my, my castle gates to him, welcome him and his family. Um, he opened a hospital in Pakistan and he, he helped a lot of people in Egypt. He would memorize every tree and he would actually be there to plant most of the trees back then because obviously it was very barren and he wanted and people said that nothing could grow out of the desert and he wanted to show that that wasn't the case. He is loved all over the Arab world because of his um, actions and his um, positions and the political and um, social. I feel like a lot of people are grateful, a lot of people feel very lucky that we had him as a president. His legacy is shown like even my siblings who didn't you know, live um, during the time when he was alive. They know about him, they know about everything that he did. Sheikh Zayed's legacy definitely carries on in all of us, not just Emiratis, but non-Emiratis. Anyone who believes that they can, you, they believe in the power of unity and they believe in building something and kind of going against what everyone believes is impossible and actually creating something beautiful. He's our father. He's the father of everyone.